Hello and uh, welcome to this week's video. Um, basically, um, you can see that I've prepared, prepared a couple of uh, MDF boards. Now, the reason for this is uh, I had a comment at the bottom of one of my videos, you know, because I'm always asking for ideas of what things you think I should have a go at. And uh, I got a message from uh, Mr. Paul John Hughes, and he said, uh, will you do a minefield? So I've been having a bit of a look round at, you know, the rules for minefields, and bolt action seems to refer to them as being six by six. So that's basically what I've gone for here. Um, now, it's good in a way, because... To be honest, I haven't actually got any minefields, so it's interesting for me as well. But the uh, the thinking I've been doing about it is I want one where, you know, I mean, because obviously minefields are supposed to be, you know, hidden. You know, you're not supposed to know they're there. Um, but nevertheless, there's two ways that you can indicate that these are minefields. So I thought with one... I'll go for the fact that it's clearly been detected and, you know, there's a post been put up and uh, that'll be the way of signifying it. On the other one, I thought about going for um, possibly an injured soldier in the middle of the field because I did pick up some injured soldiers at a fair not long back and... Uh, one of them would probably be ideal for this. So that's what I'm going to look at doing. So I'm going to divide it as two different different types. Now, for this uh, first one, well, I'm going to do it to both, actually. I'm going to start by giving it a coat of filler. I'm not going to go mad, I only want a thin a thin uh, amount of it on there. Um, I have gone for a very thin, about 3mm MDF. Um, so obviously I've got to be careful that it doesn't, you know, bow. So I'll probably weight it down in between jobs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this a thin coat now of that. what I might do um, just because I don't want this giving way at all so I'm gonna put a small amount of basic glue to mix in with it just to give it a little bit more sticking power well, I'll do one on camera so you can see what I'm actually doing. It doesn't matter about it mixing in with the glue, that's ideal. The glue's actually helping it spread better as well. I don't know whether you remember this, um, but basically it's a little something that I got from a hair dye kit that my wife had. And I thought it'd be ideal for running through things like this to give the impression of a ploughed field. And all I do is just gently put it in it because I don't want to scrape it all off. I'm not going to do it too straight because I want it to look a bit natural. And it doesn't really matter if it's, you know, patterned all the way through. You just want that suggestion so you can tell that that's what it is meant to be. And I 
that's it. So what we're going to do now is I've got to let that dry. And then we can come to the next stage. Right. I'll get this other one done. And uh, when they're dry, I'll bring you back. So these have dried now. Um, as you can see on this one, um, where I'm going for the option of a fallen soldier, I've, I've created a little bit of a blast hole just to get me started. Um, and what I'm going to do now, now that these have dried, is I'm just going to mix up some brown Mod Podge using some cheap acrylics and uh, paint that over the top and then I can start putting some of the scatter on and then I've got to wait for that to dry right so get me a little pot don't need too much I've only got to cover these but I think I'm slowly getting to the end of these paints might be able to squeeze a bit more out though right, that's got me paint in there and I've mixed, mixed a bit of uh, Mod Podge in with it it's only to really to get the base colour down it will uh, give it a bit more durability and also obviously act as the glue for the first bit of scatter that I'm going to put on it Right, let's start painting these up then. Get it right up to the edge. I don't want any white showing. surprised I've not thought about making these before so um, thanks very much for the suggestion occasionally I've had um, people asking me you know do I, do I make any anything other than you know the Second World War stuff um, well, apart from, you know, making stuff when the kids were young um, and railways when I was young, um, probably not a lot, really. Um, but, you know, obviously I've, uh, I've encountered all the other games at fairs and things and often thought how interesting it'd be to make some of that kind of scenery, you know, some of the fantasy stuff. Um, but obviously... My thing really is the Second World War. That you know, that's what I'm interested in. So, you know, that's what I've always focused on. But you know, if, if people wanted me to have a go at something like that as a one-off on a week or something, you know, if that's something you'd like me to have a go at, you know, just drop a line. You know, drop drop something in the comments and let me know, and I'll give it a go. I mean, it's something different for me. I mean, as I say, my main interest is the Second World War, so that's that's where I'm leaning. But, you know, if anybody out there wants to see me have a go, just just put it in the comments and I'll see how much, uh, you know, how many requests I get for it. And if there's enough, I'll, I'll give it a go. that one make sure there's no white showing through right, I'm going to do one at a time you know because I want to drop the scatter on it before it dries 
Right. Give myself a bit of tissue. Right, first thing I'm going to put down on it is some of this uh, soil mix that I made. Uh, mentioned it before basically all it is is garden soil mixed with some grout and then I basically sift it a few times to get different grades uh, this one is just a really fine one so I'm just going to sprinkle that on I don't want to go mad with it I will be putting some other textures down on it but uh, just get this one down as the base main thing is I don't want to put so much down that I lose the, the ploughed field look And obviously with this, uh, okay, I know it's soil, but it's grout as well. So it's all going to add to the toughness of it when it sets. And it just gives it a bit more of a realistic texture as well. Right, so that's that first one. Um, what I'll do now is I'll put this to one side, I'll get the other one painted up, and then I'll bring you back. So while I'm waiting for that plaster to dry on the boards, I've turned my attention to making a few signs um, that I can use for one of the minefields. And what I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a variety of these that I can use on different, you know, for different scenarios. I've mocked up two here that I've made. And all it is is a matchstick <coughs> and a thin piece of plastic. I mean, you could even use like the side of a butter tub. You know, it, it's, it really doesn't have to be much. If you haven't got that, you could use, um, you know, some thin balsa wood or whatever you like. I mean, I've gone for the plastic because it's just a little bit more, you know, flexible and it's less likely to break or crack up. Um, but that's just two that I've made and then I've printed off a little sign, as you can see, and stuck them on. But that's just one way of doing it. Another way... Um, well, you know, similar, but less trouble, is again, I've got a thin piece of card. I think it's been cut out of something. And what I'm going to do is I'll cut these down into the signs. It's not very thick, so it... it just being careful, don't want to cut myself. There we go. I'll cut that in off. So that's got my two boards and then all it is is a matchstick for the post obviously I'm going to stick that on there like that and that's that's your post now this is a bit of a shiny plastic you've got two options now um, you could do what I did for these uh, these original ones and uh, you know print off a sign and then stick it on there and it'll be fine with this one I'm going to do something a little bit different um, 
I'm going to give it a bit of a texture to look more like, you know, wood. And uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint it with this old wood paint, Panzer Aces. Uh, yes, old wood 310. So, right, let me put a few lines in it. <laughs> So that's that. Let me just get a bit of super glue for this because I just want it to be quick. Let me just pan out a little bit. can be just patient and let it grab it but I'm just gonna accelerate that because I want to speed it up there we go doesn't even have to be exact as you can see you've got it on a bit of a tilt you've got to remember that these things would be just knocked up on the battlefield it wouldn't necessarily be all straight prim and proper probably adds more to the effect anyway all right so now that that's done, oh, I might as well do the other one while I'm at it. I'm not going to bother putting any wood effect on this one. my two signs let's put that away I'm just going to use an old lid to put a little bit of paint in not going to need too much for these which is just as well because it doesn't look like I've got that much in here
sure you get it over every bit of it, as best as the edges. To be honest, I think um, with this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, when it's dry. Stick it in a bit of blue tack. Oh, I'll just finish off this bit of painting. I'm going to use either a, an acrylic paint pen or a marker of some kind to put the writing on because I think that's going to look more natural probably than these ones that I printed. There we go, just let that dry. While I paint the other one. That's it. Alright, I'm just going to let them dry. Right, I'll bring you back when they're done. Uh, I'm still waiting for the uh, plaster to dry. Um, so in the meanwhile, what I've been doing is I told you that I've got... Uh, like an injured or dead soldier that I'd picked up some time back at a fair. Um, so what I've done, I, you know, I know you've seen me painting soldiers before, so I didn't want to drag you through that. But I've basically <coughs> painted this fallen soldier. It looks more airborne than anything, but I've not done that to him. His leg was actually missing, so he's ideal really for the role. Um, I'm, I'm going to use him as the signifier on the less uh, obvious minefield um, that's not got a sign. So I've painted him up and got him ready and uh, we'll apply him when it's dry. The other thing that I've done is I've gone back to the signs and I decided to freehand these and uh, paint the sign on get a bit more light on it so I've gone with the English one just mine on it and then on the other one I've gone for mine and for the German one and basically I can use these as alternatives now part of the thing that I'm building more and more now is I'm building for easy storage now, I could obviously stick these in place um, and then I've just got to allow a bit more room so I don't crush it if I'm pouring it away. What I've gone for is, because I do want to alternate between the different ones, I wanted something that was going to make it so I could put it up and take it down. So I came up with a bit of an idea um, and I mixed up some green stuff just a tiny little piece into a little mound that it's that the posts can stick in and what I did while it was still soft I drove a matchstick into it but before I did I coated it in a little bit of Vaseline because that you know stops the green stuff sticking to it and pulling it apart so now what I've done is created a little aperture look. So basically I can stick this down onto the boards when they're ready. Just paint it over and then add a bit of, uh, you know, the soil mix over the top of it so it blends in. And then when I'm packing it away, I can just lie the mine signs on the lion flat. When I want to put one in, 
I can just put it into the hole that I've created. And that's it. So it's a it just allows me that bit more flexibility really so you know everything packs flat and as I say I can swap them over and use whichever ones that I want. Right the other thing that I'm going to do um, I can show you this one is I don't know whether you've ever seen this stuff you can buy it as a barbed wire you know from game shops and stuff um, but I've actually found it's also the same stuff that you tend to get on like you know electrical equipment for you know sealing boxes you'll see a little piece of it through you know where it's been closed and they've twisted it shut with a tag on it so you can actually pick this kind of stuff up at hardware or probably even online um, but I'm just using this one that I got I think it came with some battlefield parts that I ordered a long while ago. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I cut a small piece off. I don't want too much. That'll do. And then all you do is wrap it around a pen or a pencil or whatever. Nice and tight. That's it. And then you take it off. And there essentially is your barbed wire. And obviously I tend to kink it around a bit. You don't want it in a straight line. It don't look quite right. Pull it out to the distance you want it. Now what I'm going to do on one of the fields the you know the one that has got a signpost i don't want to put this all around it um i want it to look more like it was discovered and the barbed wire's gone over time or you know it's been trodden down or whatever so all i'm going to do is i'm going to put a little bit in the corner of the field probably next to its sign you know so it'll sit like that and then you sign in like that. Let me pump, shoot that down a bit. I'll put it on my hand, it'll be easier for you to see. All right. And then like put that down in like the corner of one of them. Well, you'll see it better when I actually stick it in place. When we get to that part. Um, and what I will do is I'll rust this up and give it a bit of a wash as well. So it don't look too sparkling and new. But uh, I just thought I'd take that time while I'm waiting for things to dry. To get these little bits of scenic done. The other thing that I did do is painted up a little helmet. Um, that I can just cast to one side like it's come off. And uh, obviously, it made sense to have his rifle as well, so I painted one of those up. So I'm just put them to one side, and uh, when the plaster's dried, I'll bring you back and we'll carry on putting some scatter on it. It's not quite dry yet, but uh, it's dry enough uh, to touch at the moment. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick my soldier now in place and his, and his kit on this one. I'm just going to use a bit of uh, super glue because I think that would be probably the easiest. a bit. That's good enough. And now his helmet. And then he 
his rifle. Bring that a little bit nearer for you to see. So that's what he's looking like. Obviously, we've not finished basing this up completely yet, so but it'll allow him to blend in and be sealed in with everything else. Right now, the other one. Not sure on this whether to rub a bit of bit of it clearer because obviously I want to stick this in place. But I also want to stick the um the barbed wire down now I'm not sure probably what would be the best for this um, I think with this one it's straight straightforward enough it's it's going to be a bit more of the old uh, super glue So that's that in place. I mean, I'll blend it in a bit more as I add more uh, scatter. I'm not sure about the barbed wire. I'm not sure whether super glue is going to hold it. I think I'm going to try super glue first and then see how we go. What I might need to do is uh, spray it down in place that seems fairly firm so that's how that's looking now I will have to give this a little bit longer to dry and then we can cover up. You know, you can see the super glue showing where it's set, but I can cover that up with uh, soil and scatter. Right, we're going to let these dry now and then we'll come back and we'll do the uh, final bit of scatter on it and get it, get it towards what we want it to look like so I thought what I might as well do just before I do let it dry a bit more is smear some uh, basing glue on here so I can blend all of these things in um, with a bit of forest uh, cover that I've got and could got it from Geek Gaming just to give a bit of a different texture in this area blend in that uh, socket for the signs that I want to put in
So as you can see, that blends in a lot better now. Um, once we've, uh, you know, once this is dry, I'm going to rust up that wire a little bit as well and give it a wash, so it's not so bright and shiny. And uh, then we can look at, you know, a bit more scatter on the rest of it, and then we'll be, we'll be getting there. Right, I'll bring you back when it's dry. Right, I've dried enough now for me to add a bit more greenery and uh, I've picked out some tufts to put on there. I've got these little ones that I made myself and then some others I don't know where I've got these from. Um, I'm not going to overdo it, I only want a few. Probably stick to mainly the edges. But I'm just going to use a little bit of uh, basing glue and just paste it on. Because then I can seal it all when, when, when these have dried. It's a bit odd at the minute because obviously the glue is showing through but you can get the suggestion of the different plants that have just overgrown this bit of a field that's been left and that's where they've took the opportunity to plant a few mines in among it and this poor chap's overshot it. What I'm going to be doing now is adding some uh, uh, blast material to this something that gives that a bit more definition and as I say I'll do that but then I'll come back and do the other one off camera so basically I'm going to put a bit of paste in the hole and around the periphery of it going to use is I'm going to use a bit of weathering powder much on uh, applying uh, too much in the way of any gore or anything but I do want you know a suggestion of what's gone on so I'm just going to put a tiny bit I'm 
I'm not going to leave it that obvious. Whether you can see it even. Over here. Right, so I'll bring that over. And so now you can see the blast effect. And with that one, what I'm probably going to do now is obviously I'll wait till it dries. And if I'm happy with the, you know, the finishing touches of it, I'll... Um, then give it another seal over the top and that that can be it for the uh, less conspicuous mine field um, right let's put that away to dry now, as I say I will do this one off camera um, but with this one I am gonna leave it more field like um, I may even do a suggestion of some uh, crops that have been left to go over or whatever in it not much because um you know i want to give it the impression that it's a freshly laid minefield so i don't want much going on on this you know i want to keep it fairly plain right i'll bring you back and uh then we can see about wrapping this one up right so i finished off uh the other one and uh, what I went for was a few you know like e extra tall bushes on the edges of it but essentially leaving it as just the field um, I did consider having some impressions of where the mines were but no I thought no let's just keep it unobvious apart from the fact <coughs> that there is uh, you know the sign going up so if I just plug one of them in to make it complete. Let's get my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. Got a little bit of the scatter down in it. Uh, so that's the finished thing. Well, I say finished, there's only one other thing I've got to just uh, paint up this uh, barbed wire fence a bit and rust it. So I'm going to do that and uh, then I'll finish with some uh, closing shots of it and you can see what it looks like after I've rusted it. But essentially I've just kept it very plain um, and that's what I'm using for my interpretation of that type of minefield. Um, that's the other sign for it and then this is the soldier one now it's complete I didn't want to make it overly gory I mean obviously it is gory but it was just another way of indicating that there was it is a minefield without actually having a minefield sign up um, I mean, maybe you could even have the two in conjunction with each other. You know, they could sit together. Or as separate entities. But, you know, just as a, uh, as a, at a glance at it, I know that it's meant to be a minefield because of that. And obviously this one, it's obvious because it's got the sign with it. So that, I hope that fulfills, um, you know, what you request, what you requested. And, uh, you know, if I was going to do it again, I might do it totally different. But this was the first thing that sprang to mind when I decided to do it this time. So I'll get this barbed wire painted up and then I'll close with some uh, finishing pictures. Right, so that's them complete. I hope it's what you were looking for. Is it Mr. Paul John Hughes who requested it? I'm a bit rusty because I've been away for a while, but yeah, I enjoyed it. It got me back into it. Anyway, always open to more suggestions. And uh, if you've enjoyed it, please consider giving me a thumbs up or even subscribing. Right, I'll see you again soon.
Bye.